I'm Tim Morrill. I own a business called Morrill Performance, and I'm the co-captain of Ocean City Humiliswag. My business is based around improving performance in Ultimate, so I develop Ultimate athletes from a strength and conditioning perspective. I go where I can train. So the past four months, I've, I've been living in the Philippines, Barak Island. 2008, I was the captain of my college Ultimate team, Salisbury University, and I wanted to do the best job I could as a captain, so I Googled how to improve athleticism for Ultimate. I wanted, to, I wanted my guys to jump higher, run faster, and there was nothing. There, there was nothing that said, uh, hey, here's how you do it specific to the demands of Ultimate. So I did a couple world tours, and at the end of my last world tour, it was an Asia tour uh, with Alex Schakowsky. We ended up in uh, Barakai Island to play the Barakai Open 2014, and that was when I met the Dragons. And I, you know, they welcomed me in as family, and I, I, as a strength coach, I saw that they would really benefit from some athletic development training and what I had to offer. Uh, I'm going to move to the Philippines four months before Worlds and, and see what happens, see if I can uh, kind of teach these guys what I can offer. And uh, ended up that they bought in and we, we imported kettlebells to the island uh, and we brought in all the athletes. And for six weeks, we trained the open division and mixed division six times a week, two times a day. As a strength coach, I got to spend uh, the first hour of every day teaching my FPT curriculum. So, uh, you know, static stretches, warm-ups, glutevation, speed and agility development, and that was out of the beach. And then three times a week in the afternoons, we went to Casa Pilar and did our uh, kettlebell training, developing strength and power. And uh, we tried to put that all together and, uh, and morph it into a system, uh, the system designed by Wendell Simbolin, who's the head coach. And uh, yeah, we ran it like a, like a professional sports team. And so it was, it was a big time group effort and uh, we were able to improve a lot and come to this tournament and, uh, and do well. We broke it down and, and I saw movements get more efficient and as soon as I saw efficient movement, I went ahead and loaded it, uh, put some strength and power on top of it, added some conditioning, added some uh, intensity, and then tried to transfer that into uh, to our sports-specific skills, our SST training. And it paid off. We came to this tournament and had zero injuries, and uh, I think it was clear that we were the uh, might have been the fastest team here. I, I absolutely believe we were the fastest team here. And uh, you know, any time that you expose athletes to any kind of strength and power training, when they've never been exposed to it before, uh, they improve quickly. And, and all the athletes were really thankful, and they felt like they all improved. And uh, you know, coming to a five-day tournament and having all the guys say, "Hey, I feel as good on day five as I do on day one," uh, I think is a testament to uh, to our training and and their hard work, and uh, I think you put it all into a big stew and, and you bring it out here to the, uh, to the beach and, and you see very efficient and explosive ultimate, and that's what we're after.